DJ McCollum out and running. <laughs> Pulls up. Hesitation. Blows past Paul George for the you floater. Oh, first team defense type player like Ooh. this. And you high off the glass. I'm, I'm more impressed with the runner high off the glass than the Hezzy. Is that you make me game. a bad person? Man, it is. I'm sleeping really, on CJ. I was man. gonna say I'm, I'm having so much fun watching this series in both directions, but especially watching Dame and CJ kind of show off this what they can do. Man is averaging 28 points in this series mm -hmm. right now. It's funny. He said when I was up there talking to him, he goes, "We're in Oregon. No one sees us on TV. People are watching the CJ right now." Miss caution. Staying in Portland. Loose ball. Russ goes into the seats to save it. Who's there? Gary Payton, who does not flinch. Kobe Bryant, Matt Barnes style. Well, it wasn't exactly he was going at him. You know, I know. He was landing in his lap. But he didn't even, like, what up, Nico? acknowledge. <laughs> I know. I saw Nico there. I was like, hello. <laughs> um, it was supposed to be Nike seats. It, it didn't, he didn't even acknowledge, right? Didn't, like, he's just like, eh, whatever. I mean, Russell Westbrook is climbing around behind you, and he's like, what ups? <laughs> yeah. And he won't smile. He got, got that, nothing. That scowl. Mm -hmm. oh. Make balance. Jamal Murray dancing at the top of the key. Little step back over Derek White. So that's, that's uh, example right. one. We showed that in the monologue. Now here's in behind door number two, Dame Cook's Raymond Felton. Man. Beats the third quarter buzzer. So Tracy, Man. rate please. Who's better? Who wore it better? I got to go with Dame. Yeah? Yeah. The Murray, sh the Murray shot was in a vital portion of a must-win game. It, so I got to go with Murray. No offense. Well, it was it was like the capper. It sealed it. It made it 107 to 101. I Nonetheless. Think. Yeah. This game was already over by this time when Dame hit that shot. It was, it was pretty good, though. quarter. <laughs> <laughs> pretty good. Did you see how Raymond Felton walked into the arena last night? I did. Everyone else on the team wearing black? Raymond Felton. Bright neon highlighter All colors. Pastel. Kyle Lowry going scoreless in game one. Oh, T-back jersey. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Was at the free throw line last night. Gets his first point of the series. And did you see that? Look at the crowd go we wild. We won. We won. So oh, no. That was his first point. Is this... <laughs> <laughs> is that uh, is this you were that talking is. right we were talking right about the Philly fans booing and you said fans in Philly need to more genuinely support Ben Simmons was this fans this genuinely supporting Kyle Lowry right. or was this that, them no that's Bronx cheer they're mocking him. there that is no nothing. way that celebration was for the first points that no, they no that was edited there's no way <laughs> That was edited. Maybe that's true, but even that, if it, even just if it was the, the fans at the arena, it was a little. Yeah, bit and it, well, I mean, he didn't score game one. <laughs> we anticipating him to put numbers. Okay, on so it. he dropped twenty two in game two, right? So that do you feel better about him for the rest of the way in this series? Do you feel like him bouncing back is going to set the tone for the rest of the playoffs? Do you think it's just the series? It's the magic? What do you think? You back? I feel it's going to set the tone uh, because it was an immense amount of pressure on him mm -hmm. for game two to, to come out and, you know, put on a good display. I mean, when you getting paid $31 million and you're an all-star and you're one of the leaders of your team, we expect you to go and play that way every night, not lay a goose egg in the score box, right? I don't care about the assists and rebounds. And No, we lost the game. You need to score. Yep. Uh, so he bounced back. I was a little... I was I was a little nervous, of, you know, for him at the free throw line when he missed that first free throw. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, come on, man, he has to make this second one. And then you get a sarcastic, you know, roar from the fans because everybody knows we need Kyle Lowry to play good in order for us to win. Right. Right. It's it's gonna not only, you know, help this help us in this series, but it might save our franchise because we got somebody that is a, one of the better two-way players in this league, Kawhi Leonard and there's a possibility that he might leave. So the Raptors are majorly talented. You know, last night all their guys played well. Kawhi played great. Siakam played great. Ibaka had a good game. What they need from Kyle is to raise the floor. You hear about people raising the roof? He needs to raise the floor. His bottom game has got to be better. Mm -hmm. and, and the reason I say that is because we've seen him have these bottom games in the playoffs before. Too many times. He can't have a zero game. So are you saying that the floor is the ceiling, Brian? The, I'm saying the floor <laughs> raising is more important than the ceiling raising because they He's have not guys. I'm getting my Michael Jordan floor. reference today. <laughs> I'm trying. Uh, yeah. You got it though. So somebody got it. So I got it. I, I'm sorry. I went over my head. <laughs> Kawhi Leonard is averaging 31 points a game. T Mac just mentioned it. We know he's a free agent this summer. So how far, T Mac? Fill in the blank. Kawhi stays with the Raptors if they advance to. The finals. They got to get to the finals. So get to Not the finals or win? They got to win. 
I say it's a parade. They got to win. Really? They, they, yeah, he, he has to be on a float in Toronto <laughs> on, a, on a Monday or Tuesday, whenever they have a parade, in order for him to Is resign. Floor back. Street? I don't even know where a parade would uh, be. I'm, yeah, floor would be good. Okay. Um, so, young, maybe young. Yeah. Um, I feel like, um, here's the thing. A lot of people in the NBA think that Kawhi is out of there. But it's not because of anything that the Raptors did. It's just that Kawhi kind of wants to be on the West Coast. Right. The difficulty is that Kawhi doesn't really articulate his feelings to people. Including so, in the franchise, I think. Right. right. I mean, I think the people there felt, from my conversations with people up there, they feel like they've gotten to know him a lot better in the second half of the season, that they're in a good rhythm with each other, that he's communicative in terms of the games and, and film and everything else but that they don't have a better sense of, oh, he loves it here, he's going to stay right. or not. So it's just, it's difficult to read. It's difficult for them to read who have spent every day obsessing about it for months. This is, um, this is a really pivotal playoff series for Toronto and their franchise. Yeah. Because if this kid leaves and goes wherever he goes, I don't think you get a, a quality player like Kawhi Leonard in your franchise unless Siakam could pan out that way, but... You're not going to get that in free agency. I agree, but I don't think, I will say this. I do think this is the playoffs of anxiety, especially in the Eastern Conference. Sure, like that. All Boston the with Kyrie, Philly with all their free agents, Milwaukee with all their free agents, and obviously Toronto. There's more at stake here than just these individual games. I mean, I was going to fill in the blank there by saying he stays if they advance to the finals, but we just saw LeBron James walk off a team where he made four straight finals and say, okay, bye, I'm done. So you could be right. Could be a parade. Could, be, could need to be a championship. We'll be watching. It's not, the first round is not going to do it, though. I That's can, correct. I can guarantee yeah. that.